If you want to lose weight and you've struggled to do so in the past, then I have three questions that you should ask yourself before you start on any new weight loss plan. And those questions are, what's your why? What's your why? And what's your why? Now, I'm not crazy. I know that those were the three same questions, but they actually are three different questions and I'm going to break them down for you to help you succeed this time with your weight loss. I'm Holly of RenewalFitCoach.com and I am a certified holistic nutritionist and personal trainer and I've worked enough with enough people on their weight loss as well as my own personal weight loss to know that it's not as simple as a diet plan or a workout plan. It really comes down to what's inside of here and inside of here. And these questions are gonna help you break down some of those things so you can finally succeed at your weight loss. So the three why questions we're going to answer are, why did you gain weight in the first place? Why do you want to lose weight? And why have you not succeeded with long-term weight loss in the past? So the first question you're gonna ask yourself is, why did you gain weight in the first place? Think back to what you were doing before that worked when you were at a weight that you liked. What changed from then to now? Maybe it was an emotional issue. Maybe something really hard happened in life. Maybe it was a physical injury or something along those lines. It could be a variety of different things, but go back to that place and see if you can pinpoint when things started to change with your weight, with your health, and what the cause of that was. If you can figure out that it was some sort of like emotional issue, then that might be an area that you need to journal about. Maybe you need to see a therapist about. Maybe you need to pray and ask God if he can show you more about that area and help to heal your heart so that you can move past that thing because so many of us are emotional eaters and we have to deal with the emotion in order to lose weight. If it was something as, as obvious as something like maybe a physical injury where you just couldn't work out as much where you were eating a little bit differently then maybe you just need to go back to where you were again this could be a variety of things so take some time to sit down think about it journal any thoughts that come to mind and then you can start to address those issues figure out where the weight gain stemmed from so you can then make adjustments from that moving forward so then the second question that you're going to ask yourself again is what's your why but this time, why refers to your reason for wanting to lose weight. It's really helpful to understand your deep reasoning for wanting to do this so that you can keep it in mind as your main source of motivation because weight loss is hard and you're going to hit points where you don't wanna choose the healthy food, you don't wanna do the workout, you don't wanna to have to do the things you need to do and keeping your motivation at the forefront of your mind really helps in those tough days. So what you're gonna do is ask yourself, why do I wanna lose weight? And you might start with a pretty simple answer but then you might need to dig a little bit deeper. So for instance, it might be something like, I wanna fit back in my old clothes, okay good starting point, but is that really your deeper motivation for wanting to lose weight? Is that gonna motivate you to keep going when it gets hard? Probably not. Probably what you need to do is then go a little bit deeper. Well, why do you wanna fit into your old clothes? Why is that important to you? And you might get to that and realize that even in those clothes, that's not your main reason for wanting to lose weight or look better. It might, you might have to go several levels deeper to where it gets to something more like, well, I want to feel confident. I don't feel confident about myself or I want to feel beautiful so that I can meet a man and get married and have a family. And that's really important to me. That's a key value. And that's where it's kind of stemming from. And that might be your actual source of motivation, but it could be a variety of things. It could be to be able to play with your kids and stay healthy for their whole lives. Or it could be you feel like it has an impact on your marriage and you want to improve your marriage or your sex life or something along those lines. It could be all sorts of things. But what I would ask you to do is Ask yourself what your why is, but then keep asking until you feel like you really got to the root issue that is driving you to want to look or feel a certain way. And then write that down once you have it and put it somewhere where you're gonna see it regularly. Put it on your fridge or put it in your car or put it on your uh, work station, your desk, somewhere you can see it regularly to remind yourself why this is so important to you 
to help keep you going. Once you've figured out your why, drop a comment down below and share it so that this community of like-minded individuals can share with each other our different motivations. Sometimes when you see what other people think of, it helps you to realize what some of your deeper motivating factors are as well. All right, and then your third question you're gonna ask yourself, of course, is what's your why? But this time, why refers to why haven't I been able to lose weight long-term in the past? This is really important so that you can avoid those problems in the future and you can plan ahead to be more successful. So an example of this might be, well, I end up craving all the foods that I can't eat and so I binge and then I just go off the diet because it's so restrictive and I just want to eat the things that I want to eat and enjoy my life. That happens a lot. So if that something along those lines has been what's caused problems for you in the past, then maybe what you need to do is not follow a fad diet, not choose a restrictive diet. Maybe you need to give yourself a little bit more freedom. Maybe you need to have a more approachable, manageable lifestyle way of managing your health and cutting back on some of your calories or adding in some healthier foods. A lot of times the typical fad diet, cut calories, be really restrictive diets do not work long term and you have to find a healthier, sustainable approach that you can continue doing the rest of your life. Another one that might come up is something like, well, it's just too much time where I'm too busy to constantly be planning my meals and cooking ahead and meal prepping. And it's just so much easier and faster to order takeout or go out to eat during lunch with my friends or something along those lines. This again is very common. So maybe you need to try something like, maybe you need to book in three to four hours to cook every weekend so it gets it all done and out of the way and you don't have to think about it the rest of the week. Or maybe if that's too much, you need to find a meal delivery service that has healthy meals that you like and you can invest in that to save you time while still being able to eat healthy and manage your intake. So these are just a couple of examples, but again, go back and look at what hasn't worked in the past, why you started to regain weight after you lost it or why you weren't able to really lose weight in the first place. Start to pinpoint those obstacles that you've come up against so that you can try a new approach in the future. Don't just keep trying to do the same old thing and expect different results. Now, if you're like me and you still find this difficult, like I'm the type of person that I kind of want someone to ask me the question and I can verbally answer and they can reply. Sometimes I'm better with that than having to sit and journal and do everything on my own or I just want someone to kind of like walk me through the process. If you're like that and you feel like you would succeed a lot better with someone kind of there to help you through it, then contact me. I love to do nutrition coaching one-on-one -on -one with people to help you work through these types of issues and find solutions that are gonna work for you. I really take that long-term sustainable lifestyle approach to eating and exercise so that it works for you and you can stick with it long term and feel good about how you look and feel. We can even do a free 20 minute consult if you mention this video. Additionally, if you'd like something really easy to start with, you can go to my website and download a six week meal plan that I have on there. I will link that down below so you can go there and you can purchase a meal plan to just kind of get you started, give you some ideas to at least start some healthy eating habits. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and share this with anyone else you think might appreciate the content. And go ahead and leave a comment down below sharing any of your thoughts or insights on some of these questions. Thanks so much for watching and blessings on your health and fitness journey.